Okay, so here an electric motor develops um, 65 kilowatts. And again, I want to remind everybody that 65,000 watts. Okay, kilowatt means thousand. Okay, uh, of power when it lifts the electric elevator. Uh, and this is the distance. So that's your R. And this is the time, and that's T. Okay? So what are our formulas? Well, uh, first we have power is equal to work in joules over um, time in seconds. Okay? And then um, we're looking for the force. So force in joule is equal to, uh, I mean, work in joule is equal to force in newtons times R, or H in this case. It doesn't matter. Okay, and there's no angle because they're in the same direction. So what you want to do is combine these and then get that. Right, and so what you can do is first multiply that so you have um, work is equal to power times time, and this is an important copy this somewhere because that's very important that'll come out again. And then what you do is you substitute instead of work, you put these two so f is e f times r is equal to p times t. I hope everybody saw that. Instead of this, you're going to write that. So that's. Then you divide both sides by R. And then you're going to have your formula, which is F in Newtons is equal to the power in watts times the time in seconds divided by R in meter. And that should be very simple. Everything is there. And now this is very important. You combine two equations, right? What you do is you substitute this value up there, right? That's better. This value goes up there, okay? That would have been one step, see? Anyway. <laughs> 